Okay, we've got some really, really big Bitcoin news, especially when everyone is talking about Bitcoin dumping um, and, you know, head and shoulders patterns uh, break below 30K, which will actually trigger a head and shoulders pattern to the 20K, uh, which is obviously not great. Uh, short term, good long term, because people can get new entries. We'll talk about that um within the video but before we start keep in mind that this video is no financial advice i'm just a random dude on the internet sharing his opinion so if you want to help me out you can like subscribe if you want to trade bitcoin with the highest leverage and the lowest fees use my link in the description down below uh, and in the first comment to trade on bybit they have the best options for that and they have a bonus for you 25 dollars check how you can claim it in the first comment let's talk about bitcoin um bitcoin is definitely trying to defend the 30k area and on the 30 minute time frame a lot of people are talking about diamond patterns different patterns but i want to talk a little bit about news because you have to know that one of the big hedge funds uh do you know which uh, which fund it is let me know in the comment section uh down below owns coindesk and whenever we have, you know, we, we want to pump, we get a lot of good news. For example, we have Bank of America approves Bitcoin futures trading for some client sources. Clients are in the process of being set up with some already live according to one of two sources. Bank of America, the second largest bank in the US, has approved the trading of Bitcoin futures for some clients according to two people with knowledge of the matter who spoke on condition of anonymity like most institutions the bank has been conservative in its approach to the crypto sector but due to the large amount of margin required to trade futures it is now allowing some clients to access the crypto bar market one of these sources said some clients are setting up to trade bitcoin futures which are cash settle and one or two may have already gone live um if you're in the united states you know that trading futures is really hard with cryptocurrency because you have you know binance you're locked for that. Bybit, you're locked for that. Bybit are the best ones to do that. Uh, yes, I'm sponsored by them, but they are the best in terms of fees. 0 0.075. Uh, fees. That's super low. Then uh, that's a hundred times or more better than Coin uh, Base, and I don't think Coinbase even had futures. Correct me if I'm wrong. I haven't used Coinbase in a lot, like 2018. Is when they close my account because they use it as an e-commerce um i use my personal account for uh, my e-commerce website and a uh, number of investment banks are reportedly allowing clients to do that bank of america will also be using cme futures according to one of these sources bank of america declines to comment earlier this month it emerged that the charlotte nc based bank had created a team dedicated to researching cryptocurrencies and related te technologies. I think we actually covered that. Um, yeah, in at the beginning of July, I made a video on that. But it's going to be actually very interesting. And uh, market trap Bitcoin holds above 30k, but price charts look ugly. Um, I don't believe that too much right now because we're really holding above 31k. Even if we drop to 30. 29k is still good i believe the lowest we've had uh in the since we pumped from 30 from 20k was uh, around 28k so we can definitely hold the range it seems there isn't tether hasn't printed new usdt in weeks three possible explanations that's actually very interesting uh my explanation is you know all the all the claims against Tether. you know you you probably seen the coffee zero uh video on it um which was pretty interesting the parabolic growth in the market cap of stablecoin giant tether suddenly came to a grinding halt at the end of may just as bitcoin's price was coming off its all-time highs with bitcoin trading in a range of roughly between 30 and 40k ever since a new round of chatter has been circulating linking the two events and echoing to i don't know china's credit on crypto i don't know you see on the rise i don't know uh, crypto bears versus terrorist vulnerability yeah I, I think the vulnerability of terror is what's creating the issue you know there's um, some alleged alleged ties between terror and uh um, 
Bitfinex that you know a lot of people are pointing out to so it's gonna be interesting to see what actually happens from that uh, so that's pretty much most of the Bitcoin related news I already made a few videos today uh, on the other coins that I'm invested in the token that I'm mostly interested in right now is actually robust uh, or RBT it's uh what's the price at yeah it's uh trying definitely trying to go up currently and uh we i showed you in the morning why i believe that so i managed to do a lot of buying in uh, around the 70 dollars area and my initial purchase was at the 55 dollar area a week ago i didn't sell at the 200s uh but i'm very excited for um what's about to happen here with rbt um, I made a video on RBT, we made a video on Everrise uh, and Shiba Inu. Uh, if Bitcoin stops dropping, that might actually be good news for Shiba Inu as well. If this video helped you out in any way, like, subscribe and appreciate you all. want to see you in one of the next videos. Bye.